Right then, today we're doing onions. Well, I'm planting out my red barren onions because they're in these little containers, these little plugs now, and it's not enough for them. So I'm going to get them in this garden before I bloody lose them. There you go, these were planted on the 11th of January, so they've had enough time and it's hard to kind of water them right up this top end of the garden without them or not getting enough water. So I need to get them in and look after them properly. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will pour my love from a cloud Just give them a little soak and before they go in. Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Like a firefly. I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within. I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours. So sweet like a honeybee can buzz around a honey tree. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Mm, like a firefly. There, yeah, well, they're in, but to be honest, I'm not holding up much hope for them because I always struggle with red onions. They bolt too much and I planted them once from seed to try it, but we'll see how it goes anyways. They're in, they're on their own, that's it. Forget about it. I'll buy the bloody things. <laughs> but let's talk about the chard. This is, we can't, we're going through too much of it at the moment. You know, I lifted that bit that was in the, the polytunnel. So we've got two beds of it there now. I'm going to actually put this in one of the raised beds. So this was planted 30th of March. So this, get some chard in on see If you haven't grown it before, get some chard in. It's lovely stuff. So come on, we'll go over to one of the beds and we'll get it in. So I think that's going to be the bed I've picked. Yes, that's just my old tomatoes, my spare tomatoes. I'll shift them, probably compost them there now. And I'll get that chard in that bed there. Nice bed. Last year I had Savoy cabbage in this bed. And I put some cabbages, uh, carrots in as well. Some of the little shantari, I think, you know, the little ones, I think, they were, but the carrots never came. I think it's just because the, the Savoy cabbages smothered them. I was too keen to plant too much in my bed. Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Like a firefly. I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within. I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. I'm going to use this bed to put in probably two, three rows somewhere down there of. The, the banana shallots as well. Everyone's talking about the banana shallots. What I'm intending to do with the banana shallots is actually put them in different locations as well, just to make sure that they, they work. So there'll be some here, then I've got enough to put them somewhere else, just like a little row. I might put some next to the, in the microclimate garden, next to the tomatoes. In a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours. I think these are banana shallots. 
<laughs> Bloody hell, I hope so. That must be. Must be. So when you put them in, they always look femur and fragile, these little things. So we'll see. I mean, I'll show you them there. My Japanese onions were the same, but they've come out all right. So let's fingers crossed. Last year when I was, I don't know if you can see this there, the camera's that far away. Last year when I was building the beds, I made sure I, like, I put in enough ho hose pipes for different parts of the garden, which is really helpful. I know some years out there, you can you know, load hose pipes on the side, so bloody hell, that must be hard. So this side's got its own hose pipe, the beds have, and then the greenhouse has got its own hose pipe, and it makes such a, an easy difference. I actually, I did mention that I was going to move the potatoes under there, but I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not going to now. So while we're here again, I might as well just show you, look at this man, this again. You've seen as I just picked it not that long ago, you know, what a great crop. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to pick some there now, ready. We're having homemade pizzas tonight for tea, but <laughs> I still need to get it for the Sunday. I wish I could remember what type it was, because it has been the best sprouting broccoli that I've had in a long time. I mean, you think, look, there's a portion there, just straight away, picked off. There's that many different varieties as well, so you don't really, you know, it's hard to, unless you do label them. <laughs> I even take it to work, you know, and steam it in the microwave at work. And it's great, and I think this is all broccoli, mind you, it's great just to keep it in the fridge, it does last in the fridge. Maybe that one's a bit, a <laughs> nice flower. Look at these, man. Let's come up there close and show you. I just tapped the screen on that. <laughs> Bloody knives and everything here. Can you see that? Look at that, man. Absolutely perfect. Gorgeous. Seconds. Seconds in the microwave. Or the steamer. I want to pick as much, you know, because I know it's on the way out, just to get a, maybe another flush before I do scrap them. A little bit of olive oil, sauteed in a frying pan with a bit of garlic salt. I think there's probably eight plants here at the most, you know what I mean, and if you could just keep this going, I know it's, it, it's easier said than done, like keeping it going, you know, throughout the season, but it's hard sometimes to get up the allotment and then, like you say, they go to the seed and you've missed them, but if you can just keep on cutting these flowers back, then you run the risk of... <laughs> I'm <laughs> sick to death of bloody sprouting broccoli. They're so fresh and tender, they're just coming off without the knife, you know. I'm not going to use the knife, that's it, the knife's gone. 
there you go, look at that. To all the ladies on who watch my channel, there you go, girls and boys. You know what it is as well? Not a caterpillar in sight. How about that? Luxury. Right, well, I think I'm going to actually... I think that one's gone. I'm going to pull that one. It's gone. Finished. I've had enough of it. Look at that. Man, fantastic. Remember a few months ago, I said I was going to pull these leaks, as we can see there. Hey, I'm so glad I didn't. Everyone says, don't, don't. Look at these, I'll just show you. Let's get this one. These are just... Look at this. That's a bloody shore leak, man. Yeah, look at that. So there's a <laughs> listen to you, listen to your audience. <clears throat> it seems today is like lots of like little little jobs kind of getting them all sorted. So I, I apologise for that. I just need to get things on. I can't kind of focus on one thing. This bed, I'm going to put in some beetroot in this bed and. I've sown some already in, in one of the beds and just like direct seeds, but nothing's come of them yet. So, um, but neighbor give us some over there, thank you to Billy, give us some beetroot that's, you know, he popped in the greenhouse. So I'm going to get this one in this bed. The cucumber there is <laughs> two cucumbers. What I'm intending to do then, I've got to get three rows in there. I'll, I'll plant some seeds in there, maybe in a, a two weeks, something like that, a couple of weeks time, just to, so there's like a progression. These are my Japanese onions, which were Octo 1st of October. Oh, can you see it's there? 1st of October, I planted these. So what I was intending to do, and I'm going to with these, is actually, I'll take these ones now as spring onions for the weekend. You see that? Nice little spring onions, they're lovely. There you go, look at them. Eh? God, oh man. I think next year I might just get a lot of Japanese onions and just do them for like big spring onions like that. You know, just plant like row, you know, rows and rows of them. Obviously do me own spring onions as well, but they're lovely, you know, just in a nice salad, a couple of them. Oh, nice little surprise crop there, so that'll do us. I know it's been a little bit kind of higgledy-piggledy, but there's just lots of little jobs that I kind of <laughs> crack on and get done. Now they're done. I'm kind of nearly there. Few carrots, few beetroots throughout the, the season, but I'm kind of, the, the summer's set, you know, eventually I'll be kind of putting in the winter stuff, you know, mid-July probably, or, or planting with other things to, you know, like companion planting, but it's kind of, it's set. Look after yourselves, take good care. <laughs> 